In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to use the Osida Easy Ring Rinse Clean Map the right way. I did a more detailed review of this map. For more information, check out this video here. Be sure to stay till the end because I'll share a neat trick on how to properly care for your map and keep it mold free after each use. Let's do this. First, grab the blue clean water tank from the bucket and fill it with water. Make sure you keep the water release lever down to avoid any spills. Now add any cleaning solution of your choice and close the blue cap. Check to mix up the product and water then place clean water tank back into the bucket. Now attach the map head on the telescopic handle. Next, lift the red water release lever and let the water in. The rinsing chamber will fill with clean water and the lever can remain open but I like to close mine so I can control the amount of water coming in. Next, immerse the mop in the clean water chamber. Here's the thing though, sometimes when your mop head is all dry and fluffy, you may need to wet it twice because just once won't cut it, it won't make it real wet. Now the cool part. Place wet mop inside ringer and loosely hold handle like so to allow mop to spin. No need to use your hands here to wring out the mop. Customize moisture based on your floor type. For example, if you are mopping wood or laminate floors, you want to wring the mop more times compared to when mopping tiles. This is because too much water on wood or laminate damages the floor over time. Wood floors will hold you to it, my friend, but tiles are more forgiving. So make sure you don't put too much water there, okay? Mop the floor and repeat rinsing and wringing as needed. In case you want to take a coffee break, there is a resting place for the mop right here. So cool, right? Here's the trick. Sometimes if you're mopping a very dirt or high traffic area, you may need to rinse your mop twice before mopping again, like I'm doing here. Here's what I like about this mop. The two tank bucket system makes it possible to use clean water to rinse the mop. As you're mopping, the dirty water goes into a separate tank and the two do not mix. Mm -mm, they don't. As you can see by this dirty water. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the product if you have used it before. After use, throw the mop head in the washer and let it air dry. This is very important. So to avoid any product buildup after you're done cleaning, I recommend you thoroughly rinse out the clean water tank and and make sure all the product is gone. You know mold thrive where there is moisture right so to avoid mold from growing inside the blue clean water tank after rinsing it make sure you leave the cap open so air can circulate that way it will dry faster. Remember to clean the dirty water bucket as well and make sure you go into all the tight areas. You can wipe the bucket with a towel or just leave it to air dry as well. Check out the videos I suggest next for more valuable content and share the videos with people in your life. Until next time, take care of you my friend because you're special. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.